Elon Musk got in the chat GBT game. Since everyone was talking about how powerful this AI is, Elon Musk pointed out that the software is woke. AI chatbots are all the rage right now, and that's all thanks to ChatGBT and the power that this little platform holds over the future of humankind. Some are saying that ChatGBT is going to be the end of creativity. It's going to completely replace humans, and it's going to do it in a couple of years. Some of the more positive reviews online talk about using ChatGBT right now to help us with the grunt work. In other words, because this AI chatbot has the ability to compile original and unique essays on topics ranging from knitting to quantum mechanics, some suggest we use it while it's still in the infantile stages. ChatGBT was released on November 30th, 2022. In just five days, they amassed one million followers. Both Facebook and Instagram needed several months to reach that goalpost, and there was a good reason behind the hype. ChatGBT was super powerful. The people who used it in the first five days reported that it's one of the most powerful things humans have invented. How do we know? Well, some people began asking ChatGBT about the blueprints of banks, and then they followed those questions up with potential ways of robbing said banks. The powerful AI chatbot was being used for evil, and so OpenAI, the company behind ChatGBT, had to place a lot of restrictions on it. It was unavailable for a certain period of time, and then came back online. But how does all of this tie in with Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, Starlink, and The Boring Company? Well, Elon Musk was the one who started OpenAI. He was on the company's board until 2018, and then he left. He held a large stake in OpenAI, but he no longer has any ties to the software company. In the past, Musk has said smash that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, Elon Musk actually said, Initially, it was created as an open source nonprofit. Now, it is closed source and for profit. Seeing how ChatGBT became more and more woke in the month since its release, a new report claims that Elon Musk is looking to expand his portfolio of companies in the AI chatbot space. Specifically, according to the information.com, Musk is working on making a chatbot that will stomp out OpenAI's ChatGBT. Instead of having a heap of restrictions on it, the chatbot Elon Musk is trying to build is going to be less woke, and it's going to give you better answers with fewer restrictions. And to do this, Musk is looking to recruit a top-level researcher in the field of AI. The person we're talking about is Igor Bubaskin. He has been employed as a researcher at Alphabet's DeepMind AI unit. However, he has recently left the job, and Musk thought it would be nice to work with him. Igor specializes in machine learning models, which is exactly what Musk needs to build the new chat GBT on steroids. However, according to the information, Igor told them that he has yet to decide if he wants to work with Elon Musk or not. Musk co-founded OpenAI in 2015 and is now sick to his stomach with what they're doing to the platform that was intended to be open source. In one of his tweets, he said, OpenAI was created as an open source, which is why I named it OpenAI, a non-profit company to serve as a counterweight to Google. But now, it has become a closed source, maximum profit company effectively controlled by Microsoft. Not what I intended at all. And it seems like the fans are agreeing with him. Plus, we cannot forget all of those videos where he's talking about the dangers of AI. Both Alphabet, aka Google, and Mark Zuckerberg and the team of Facebook were working on AI models at the time. He warned them to tread carefully, and how we need to be very cautious about advancing AI. We're not going to even mention the numerous times he claimed we were living in a simulation, and it actually made sense. However, if Elon Musk makes his own AI chatbot, wouldn't he be undermining his own advice? If he is looking to make a more powerful AI software with fewer restrictions, wouldn't that be the exact thing he warned us against in several of his past interviews? Just a year before ChatGBT was being released, Musk tweeted, ChatGBT is scary good. We are not far from dangerously strong AI. But after a year, something happened to Elon Musk and his opinion about the platform changed. 
the tech billionaire estimates that there are too many safeguards built into the algorithm of ChatGBT. And to show you why Elon Musk thinks that ChatGBT is woke, we're going to be talking about a little quote unquote thought experiment conducted by a right wing writer. He wanted to see how politically biased is ChatGBT. So he asked it a series of questions in which ChatGBT was supposed to make a life or death decision. The writers imagined that ChatGBT was being asked if it would use a racial slur, if that meant saving humanity from a nuclear bomb. The answer? ChatGBT refused to use any hate speech, even when it meant saving millions of people from a nuclear disaster. The program said that it was never right to use racial slurs, even when we're talking about hypothetical situations. Now, people on the left and people on the right conduct these type of experiments with ChatGBT every day. Most of them don't get any attention. But what made this tweet so popular was that Elon Musk himself retweeted the entire conversation and just said, smash that subscribe button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no. Seriously now, Musk actually said just one word, concerning. He followed that up with the tweet, the danger of training AI to be woke. In other words, lie is deadly. This short tweet received around 8 million likes on Twitter. And that means fans agree that ChatGBT is a left-leaning AI chatbot. Now, some of his critics are saying that it's not hard to see why Musk would say something like this. First of all, he is constantly interacting with users on Twitter that are right-leaning. Second, he has unbanned most of the white supremacists from Twitter. He even defended the creator of Dilbert Comics, Scott Adams, who has been publicly criticized for his unpopular views on race, and his comic book was taken out of circulation. So, will Musk be planning to make a less woke AI chatbot? Or is he trying to make a right-leaning chatbot that would offset the left-leaning chat GBT? According to Bobashkin, Musk is not going to make the new chatbot to remove the safeguards that are placed on the old chatbot. And very recently, Musk has posted several tweets confirming he's interested and looking to make a new chatbot. Apparently, his is going to be called Based AI and use the Dogecoin-related meme as the new face of the new chatbot. However, while Elon Musk is looking to conquer the world of chatbots, Tesla investors don't like it. They are pleading with the CEO to come back to Tesla and pull the company out of the rut it's been in. The value of the stock has plummeted, and he's probably the only person who can save it. But will he? It seems like the CEO of Tesla shifted his attention to Twitter and chatbot AI. He's no longer interested in the prospect of electric car manufacturing. He seems to be chasing the next shiny and interesting thing. And in the meantime, Tesla is slowly going under. From a high of $400, the shares of Tesla have almost halved in recent months. The billionaire lost $200 billion in net worth, marking the biggest one-year loss of wealth in the history of the world. Not just our time. No one in history lost $200 billion in a year. And Musk managed to do it. So are the investors right for asking him to come back to Tesla and SpaceX? Or is Musk right for pursuing the potential rewards of AI chatbots and social media? Only time will tell. See you in the next video.